Hi, I'm Adam, Unit Chief Pilot, Cornwall Air Ambulance. This is the Augusta 169 helicopter. Let's go and have a look. So as you approach, you can see we've got some floats on the back of the aircraft just here, just under the boot. We have floats and life rafts. This helps us service the Arza Silly when we go offshore. If you look at the top here, we've got an engine on this side and we have another engine on that side. So you have two engines in total, uh, Pratt & Whitney 210s and they produce approximately a thousand shaft horsepower each. Go down, you've got the landing gear, and as you can see, we have some bear paws. This helps spread our weight. So our generic lifting weight is 4,600. We can go up to 4,800 kilos, uh, and we can take up to around 900 kilos of fuel with that. Come forward, you're then gonna have the doors. These are the cabin doors. So we'd normally, obviously, use a handle to get, it, get in and out. In case of emergency, we can use the windows as well. As you look inside the cabin, you can see the medical equipment, the bags we use, critical care paramedics use, the zoles, the stretcher. The stretcher will come out the other side to help us load the patient uh, and it slips back into place. We have seating for four people uh, in the back plus a stretcher as well as two seats up front, one of which being the pilots and we fly with the TCM. Uh, which is a paramedic. They have two roles with us, both critical care paramedic and TCM, which is a technical crew member. So they help us navigate to the scene, look out, uh, and go through some decision-making procedures with us. Uh, and obviously in case of emergencies as well, they're pretty good with the checklist. Inside the aircraft, basic controls, all helicopters have roughly the same type of control configuration. We have the collective, so this lifts us up and down in simple terms. We have a, the cyclic. This changes which way we point, so we can roll it sideways. And then we have the pedals, and this controls which way we point the nose. It's a combination of all three controls we use to fly the aircraft. Screens on the inside, as you can see, we have three main screens at the, at the front. The two outer screens give us the flight display information that we need. And the center screen we keep as a sort of engine management, giving us the uh, limits, torque information, gearbox information, hydraulic information, and everything else. We can change that to navigation if we need to, uh, or a weather radar should you have one installed. The lower two screens are what we call the EDCUs, so they control uh, turning on fuel valves and lights, air conditioning, uh, and any other bits, as well as navigation and GPS. You have on the center area brakes, landing gear controls, and numerous other switches. Uh, you'll see hanging up on the hooks. Uh, we have the, the helmets ready to go for both the TCM and the pilot, uh, and some checklist, and the small switch in the middle uh, between on the roof. Uh, that's our rotor brake, which we just put on and off. Stops the blade spinning uh, as we're slowing down. Sorry, the rotor brake stops the blade spinning when we shut the aircraft down. Coming back out, you'll see another lump here. This is the forward float on this side, and we have the same on the other side, the reciprocal. Uh, these are what we call Preta tubes. Uh, we have one on each side, and actually they measure the airflow to give us indications of speed and other things by increasing your diaphragm. Unfortunately, they're not guns, which we have been asked a few times. Over to the front, this is our track.